what huge news has this been blowing out of the water? Huh? Matiria Ture announced a big policy over the weekend. The poorest will be taxed less, the richest taxed more, and benefits will increase by 20%. Uh, <laughs> Well, depending on who you're talking to, let's go to, uh, uh, to Jan first. Uh, I want to ask you first, Matiria lied to work and income in order to get more money. Yeah. What Do you think personally, was that okay? Was what that I, okay? I, you know, like I look back on the Victorian era and those stories about people who stole bread to feed their kids and were deported or sent to jail. This is the 90s the in New Zealand. This is the like 90s in New Zealand. Like in the Victorian ages, I know. And I look back at that and I'm like... God, how, what a cruel society. And I'm hearing in people's responses to Materia's story the same cruelty. I think it's time to move on. It's time to actually get no, angry on. about no, no, no. poverty was it, what, and the causes no. that people are doing was that. It, was, it okay to li was it okay to lie to wins? What? If you're going to feed your kid yes and your no. kid can't eat, then I say she is came out so that people would know that we are not going to judge them. All and right. I am not going to judge her or anyone else. We are going to fix this problem. All right. When kids are dying and people are in their cars, we are going to fix that and we are not going to judge people who what, do what they it, need for their kids. First, it was it okay for Matilda to, to come out and say this, Peter? Well, look, it's 25 years ago, a different set of circumstances. I actually think it's quite irrelevant. And I think that the reason she raised it was to try and give some profile. I think it backfired yeah. badly. I think do you? I do. I think, I think a lot of people are asking legitimate questions about her honesty and, and her what, integrity. And what is that main question of you, for you? Well, did she do it? If so, why? Uh, but as I say, it's really irrelevant because it's Chris, so long ago. Chris. But the point, the point is, it's detracted from a quite good debate that she should have initiated about welfare reform. Now the issue People is not that, but her credibility, seen. and they she shot it. They need to know they're not judged, and that somebody they can trust right, somebody Jan. to well, fix reason, it. The reason Jan won't answer the question is because she knows that she shouldn't have done it, and she knows that... Um, that you I know, did she, answer well, it. You didn't answer the question. I said not she should have fed her kids, she, she should, and she, she did have, what she, she needed to feed her kids. She shouldn't. <laughs> and we're not going to judge it. Chris, we're not going to hang, on, Jan. hang on, Jan. I on, the ask. Same on the same logic, there are plenty of small businesses out there struggling who have to pay their tax bills at the end yeah. of every month, their GST, <laughs> and pay the tax department. There are plenty of small businesses That's out there who can so use the same excuse to say that they need to take a bit, ex a bit of extra and not give it to the government for whatever reason in order to pay PAYE to their employees, in order ever, to pay ever, people. Ever so a it's a very slippery slope hey, once hey, you start Chris, down, ever, ever oh, been, well, if, you know. Ever be on a benefit, Chris, where you know that what the next Powerball comes in yeah. and you just cannot pay it, there's always, there is always, and it's been this like, like this forever, there's a there's a disconnect between what you get in and what you have to pay out. A That's the abso problem. Absolutely so if you need to look yep. after your children, yes. yep. isn't this the a right thing to do? Absolutely, yes. and no one's saying that... Yeah. No one, no one is arguing that living on a benefit is easy, but we don't live in 1830s United Kingdom anymore. We live in 20, 2017 in New Zealand. Let's go to... And, let's go and to we've raised benefit levels. Let's... Let's, well, let's go to Labour. What, what was Materia, what she came out and said, was it the right thing to do? To lie, to wins? No, look, I don't think we want to encourage anyone to lie to a government department. So, so no. no. So, so no. I, I think she would have preferred to, at the time, not to have lied. Yeah, but but she, she was trying to point out that she has empathy yeah. with a whole lot of families yeah. that are struggling at the moment and that this government has ignored right, for I'll, nine I'll years. I'll come back yeah. and talk about... Yeah. I'll come back and talk about policy, uh, Charlotte... For, over to you. Yes, in the audience out here, I've got Esther, who's just moved from Auckland down to Wellington. Esther, have you been on a benefit before? I was on the student allowance when I was studying. Um, when I was younger, my mum was on a benefit, my dad was on a benefit. Um, domestic, domestic purposes, um, uh, childcare subsidies, accommodation subsidies, invalids, sickness, the, all of them. But I think that desperate times call for desperate measures, and I think Materia did what she needed to do to get it done. Interesting. All right. Very good. Oh, let's go to Jan, to, to the policy. So, Benefits increased by 20%, and on top of that, a no questions to ask benefit. Yeah. How fair is that to the average taxpayer? No questions asked. <laughs> it, it's what we need to do to stop kids. One, more than one kid a week is dying of poverty in this country from low income related diseases. One, we're, like, kid, we've one, got a choice. one kid a week yeah. dying of poverty. More than. It's a Tago University in research. Zealand. 60 kids a year are dying of low income Peter, related diseases. Peter, do you diseases. support a 20% increase in benefits and no questions well, asked policy like the Greens? No, I don't. Last year we had the biggest rise, the first rise in benefits for 45 years. 
a $25 a week Didn't break uh, any increase. Didn't anybody over the poverty threshold. You've got to, Not look, one group look, of people. You, if you're Not having one. It, it you've got to, you did the hang research. On, hang on. You've got to have a benefit system that realises that what you're doing is helping people through difficult transitions in life. That comes with obligations, and one of the obligations is that you tell the truth about your circumstances and you make all the efforts you can yeah. to move yeah. through that period of transition. And I think, and be treated I with think, dignity. Yeah, and I think there are issues about that. All, all right. of those could have been raised in the context of the Greens policy, but in fact what happened was Materia's uh, conduct has shot she that out of the water and we're shot the credibility of it. Okay, hey, Chris. It's actually, it's actually a really important policy discussion to have. That's right. Yeah. Because I don't, our benefit system is based, based around the concept of mutual responsibility. Mm. I don't think it's unreasonable no, it's to ask for people that are receiving uh, job seeker support, for example, to enrol, to enrol their children in a well child provider. All right. That's not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable to ask what's, them to look for work. What's That's people? not unreasonable. Okay, let's, like hang on, Jan, let, Jan, Jan. Let's go to Chris Labour. What's wrong with what Chris said? It sounds not unreasonable. Well, it's, uh, it's a, the mutual responsibility. Well, there, there is some mutual responsibility. So what do you think of what Chris well, said? I would rather talk about what we want to do, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, there, there do need to be uh, um, some questions asked when someone comes along and asks for help. Any MP will know that when, because people come to their so offices. So you don't agree with the no questions asked policy well, of the Greens? Well, because some questions always have to be asked. That's the reality of people who come for help. So the answer for the person out there is yes. So, um, you know, but it's clear that the general um, point here is that people who are on low and middle incomes are struggling and something happens to need to happen in this space because it hasn't happened yeah. for and the last and Chris, So, ra so raise benefit levels. No Chris, Chris and Jane, raise benefit levels. We did that in the last budget. The most not, recent not budget a does lot. it. Not a lot. Not a lot. Well, $25 a week if for those struggling on a benefit is a decent sum of money. He second second point. Don't get rid of the obligations that move people from welfare into work. Because that's, okay. that's getting, okay. that's getting so people things. into Jan, work. Jan, so briefly. actually, it's not about no questions. It's getting rid of the fact that if you miss a bus or the bus doesn't turn up or your kid is sick and you can't make an appointment, they're going to cut your income so that you've got no choice to be able to pay your bills. It's getting that's rid right. of the cruelty out of the system that is putting people in cars <laughs> and in hospitals. So, so and it's on. building in case managers who can work with you, who will listen in a relationship of trust. So you, so you, so you, get you, get out should, here. you think there should be zero <laughs> obligation for those it's on job seeker support to look for work. People want you might as well rename work. the benefits. It's not going to be called job People seeker if there's no We've obligation to look for work. That's enough. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.